Okay, so hi there folks, we're now in our next batch of videos in Science, Technology, and Society. It's quite small here, <laughs> but today we're going to talk about specific issues in Science, Technology, and Society. So this is another chapter for our lessons, and today we're going to talk about the information age as a whole. Okay, and after this there will be batch of videos, a lot more, um, that will be um, the second or the third or the continuing videos for the information age or special issues in Science, Technology, and Society. So since we're starting to, we're going to start rather, to enter the information age or know more about the information age, so we should know or define um, correctly what do we mean when we say information. So what is information for you? And maybe you can think of it um, for, for a minute or two. You can pause the video for that. Okay, so whatever you have composed of what information is, um, let me give you the answer there. Okay, so knowledge information, as said by Webster's Encyclopedic Dictionary, is knowledge communicated or obtained concerning a specific fact or circumstance. So that's information, according to this um, famous Webster's Dictionary. Um, these are also facts provided or learned about something or someone. So that's what you mean when you say information. Furthermore, there are um, the information age, okay, is a period starting in the last quarter of the 20th century. Again, in the last quarter of the 20th century. Information became effortlessly accessible through publications and through the management of information by computers and computer networks. This is taken from vocabulary.com. Okay, and we have also this age, okay, called the digital age and also the new media age. Okay, so again, um, these are under the information age. So the information age is said to be a true new age. So the information age is a true new age based upon the interconnection of computers via telecommunications so wireless. We can see that. With this information systems operation, operating on both a real time and as needed basis. Furthermore, the primary factors driving this new age forward are convenience and user friendliness, which in turn, a little bit of bad side, will create user dependence. Okay, this is taken from James R. Messenger um, from his book Theory of Information Age, 1982. Okay, so certainly um, in the next part, this is, this is only an introduction, a very brief introduction to what the information age will, will, will offer to us. In the next video, we're going to talk about the timeline of the information age, uh, the, the brief details. Okay, very brief, uh, but it's the details of the history of the information age. So that's it for now. Um, I will be seeing you soon. Okay, thank you very much for watching and hope you like and subscribe. Okay, thank you.